Welcome to the Blue Cafe, we bring you stories of faith, love, and devotion. Yeah, just kidding, please help us grow by hitting that like button. Now on to the story. My wife may have cheated. I don't have actual proof. I am sorry for the length. First some background. My wife, F30, no kids, comes from a large family. Both her parents have six to eight siblings. From this she has many many cousins and second cousins. The families have known each other for generations so are close. The wife is very close to seven or eight women. The last few years there have been many marriages, including our own and baby showers. Some have legendary status. I will explain below. All these gatherings are huge productions and well attended. Last weekend was a Christmas gathering. The family rented out a venue to fit everyone. This gathering was her mother's side of the family. Eventually after going around greeting everyone the close cousins settle in with each other and their sows. The conversation came around to a bridal shower that happened last summer. Because the family is so big they had two showers. One hosted by the older parents, aunts, grandma. The other was hosted by and for the younger relatives. The cousins started reliving the shower with much laughter. The sows were just sitting there smiling as we watched them enjoying the moment. One of the cousins started to start a story, pointing at another but was hushed. There was an awkward moment with these looks between each other. Now the sows are curious, me included. We wanted to hear the story but the subject was changed and any attempt to bring it up was shut down. I walked away to get some dessert and drinks. As I was hanging out by the bar another of the sows came up to me. He asked if I really wanted to know what happened. Of course, I said yes. He took me outside. He pulled out his phone and swore to secrecy. He had snooped on his wife's phone and found a short video of the shower. The young cousins and friends, about 20 to 25 people, shower had included strippers. Think dancing bear type. The video shows the guys dancing naked with the women laughing and screaming. The women were stroking them and some even sucking. The video shows the stripper going down the line in front of each woman sitting on a bench along a wall. Each woman takes a slurp, some longer than others or gives a hand job. The video is shot from the end of the line. In my profile is my wife, she is third in line. Just as the stripper moved to the next woman there was a large roar and the video scanned and crossed the room to the other stripper. Then you hear turn that off, no videos. The video ends. At the time I asked the wife about the shower. She said it was fun but it was just a shower. She never went into detail. I dropped it at that time. Now with this news, months later, I am not sure how to handle it. I can't tell her I saw the video without revealing how I saw it. Should I ask about again if she got some guy's dick? Let it go. Our marriage has been rock solid for 5 years. There is another summer wedding next year. Tell your wife that you know what happened and give her a chance to come clean. When she lies, tell her you saw a video of the strippers and let her know her position in line. Tell her this is her final chance to come clean. She will break down and will either come clean or double down on a lie. Either way, understand that nothing will be the same between you both. Truth, 100. This is solid advice. Let her know either come clean as you already know or you will be forced to discuss with all the other sows. Additionally, I would say if you are loving forward and forgiving these showers are over. Good luck. Up, definitely this, up pointing finger. You don't have to start off with a video. Tell her you were told there were strippers, and ask why she lied about it. If she doesn't come clean and tell you the truth you will know she is willing to lie to your face. This will be important in the future. What you do with the info is for you to decide. Or just say along the lines of I want you to know that I already know what happened at the shower, there was footage, you were third in line, and this is your chance to say your piece and let her incriminate herself. This works more often than you think. Your wife has some explaining to do. I would not be nice about it either. If there is no consequences this will happen again. 
If it hasn't already, good luck. This may be the end of a few relationships. I know they can be a wild bunch. I observed a few years ago when dating my now wife. Story 2 My mom took my cheating ex-girlfriend's side over mine and I can never forgive her. Throw away for privacy. I was raised by a single mom. My dad died two years after I was born. I focused on my career for the most part of my life and my mom supported me doing that. But when I was 20 I met my ex-girlfriend and we got together. We were colleagues first but she told me she'd work in a different sector soon. In her new workplace she met a new guy who she fell in love with while being in a relationship with me. I only found out because she admitted to having sex with him after she went out for girls night with her friends. I immediately broke up with her and threw her out. After a few hours of me trying to process what happened my mum called me and shouted at me that she hasn't raised me like this. I was confused and asked what she meant and she said that my ex-girlfriend accused me of cheating on her and that she found proof of that on my phone. I couldn't believe what I just heard. I tried to talk to my mother telling her that the exact opposite is true and that she has cheated on me but she didn't believe me. Part of the reason is probably because she and my mom truly loved each other. I never had a problem with that. Till then I liked how they got along with each other. My mother called me a liar and she said she'd disinherit me from her will as she's not a cheater as a son. She said she never wants to see me again. Then later my grandparents called me to tell me how disappointed they are of me and that I deserve every bad thing that is to come. You know what the worst thing was? I found out that my cheating ex-girlfriend continued to meet with my mom after everything she did. All of this was so painful for me. The only person that sided with me was my best friend who was furious with her. I talked to him and he hugged me and I cried in his arms. I know many people would think that's unusual for two guys. But his support really helped me get through this. One year later when I was already over it my doorbell rang and when I opened I saw my mom with teary eyes and I began to feel how my emotions were coming up and I slammed the door and started crying asking her what the duck she wants here. She said she wanted to talk to me and that she was so sorry. After she begged for 15 minutes straight I gave in and opened the door. She said my ex admitted that she cheated when she was drunk. She apologized profusely and said that she knows that she failed as a mother not believing her own child. I told her that I accept her apology but I don't want to see her now and that I probably can never forgive her. Even though she begged me to forgive her. Over the last few months she started calling me daily just to hear my voice as she said. She said she missed me then apologized again and asked if I could just come over. Her voice always sounded kinda painful and she always says how much she loves me and that even though she could understand that I hate her she cannot live with this thought in her head. I don't even hate her. I still love her. She is still my mom but the trust is broken. I can never trust her again because what if I got into a relationship again? Who says that she wouldn't just believe their word over mine again? I appreciate her efforts but I just cannot forgive her or even see her now. I hope she understands that I need time. Edit, since true off my chest deleted my update I reposted it on my profile if you wanna see it. Your ex is a horrible human being. The mother as well. Pose of a feather. This is a theft notice. I am stealing this phrase for future use. Thank you for your cooperation. Pose of a feather. Sorry bro but this phrase is too juicy for me not to swipe. Spread the good word, brother. She lost her privilege to hear your voice and have you as a son when she just immediately disregarded your side of the story without a second thought. I get what she must have felt in that case but completely cutting you off just like that without even trying to believe you? That's just ducking shameful. I hope your dad doesn't see what she's done. She better immediately go no contact and shame herself and that bitch ex for what they've done if there's even a chance of talking about being a mom again. I think anyone would have trouble cutting off their own child regardless of the horrible things they do to other people. I can only assume Op's mother either has some degree of resentment towards him for unknown reasons or emotional trauma related to cheating. I would go North Carolina with her. 
If you don't want to do that or if you are not sure, here are some questions you should ask here, does she still have contact with your ex? What did she tell your ex after she confessed? Did your mother contact your family to tell them about what she did? If yes, why has no one reached out to you? If no, why not? Update, my mom took my cheating ex-girlfriend's side over mine and I can never forgive her. The original update on true off my chest was deleted and I don't know why. However I decided to post it here then. Hi there. After reading too many comments yesterday I decided to meet with my mom today to clarify everything. I texted her to come over and she didn't hesitate. She literally appeared at my door within 15 minutes. Many of you pointed out good points I should ask her. Even though she called several times we rarely really talked. So when she came over I sat her down in the living room. There I asked about my grandparents, her will and if she is still in contact with my ex. She explained that she had told my grandparents and she expected them to call me but it seems like they were too stubborn. She also said I'm in her will again. She then started talking shit about my ex. She said that when she found out she punched her so hard that my ex lost a few teeth. I very much doubt the accuracy of this story detail but I wanted to share it anyway because for me it was a funny thing to think about. She said she told her to duck off and threw her out of the house. She then again started apologizing profusely and telling me that she knows how hard she messed up and that I probably can never trust her but she wants to do everything in her power to make this right. She explained that the man before my father had cheated on her, so infidelity was a sensitive topic for her. And then she said that she regrets not believing me or even remotely hearing my side of the story. I sat quiet while she explained all this. I then asked her how I knew that I could trust her now. What would happen if I got into a similar situation and if she would just throw me away again? She said I have her word and I replied that her word is basically meaningless as I don't trust her in the first place. She didn't reply to that answer properly and again begged me to forgive. I told her that I cannot forgive her for now and maybe I will never be able to forgive her but I also see her efforts and if she wants me in her life again then she has to show me that I can count on her. She started tearing up. I could tell she tried to hold in her tears the entire time. But then she broke down crying and with a whimpering voice she asked if she could at least give me a hug. I accepted that and she said she's gonna make this right no matter what it takes and then she left. Now while I am kinda touched by how much she regrets doing what she did, I am really concerned about my own reaction. When she broke down and I saw my own mother there on the floor crying I didn't feel anything. I wasn't sad, I wasn't angry, I wasn't happy and I certainly didn't show any sort of empathy for her. I just couldn't. During the year of having no contact with her I refused to go to therapy. Maybe it's not too late to do that now. In the end I want to thank all of you for your nice comments and support. I tried to read every single one of your comments but the post kinda exploded way more than I expected. Have a nice day. It's normal to not feel anything after her apologies, you've been betrayed by her, she picked someone else's side instead of yours and never tried to hear your side of the story, I'm sure that if your ex hadn't been drunk and didn't spill the truth she would still have been on her side, I think and it's just my opinion that her betrayal shocked you so much and you were so used by now to look without her that something broke inside of you and that's why you felt nothing I think that you should probably give a try to therapy cause you might have bottled a lot of things and you need to talk about it, evacuate it to maybe start to feel better. You don't have to forgive your mother even though she begs and cry and with what she did to you and how she picked your ex over you her own child I don't think that you could ever trust her she broke it and she have to live with the consequence of her own choices don't feel bad up and I hope everything will goes well for you in the future. Remember one important thing, she didn't even listen to your story so she completely didn't care about you. You should tell her because she clearly doesn't understand, that she is sorry because she didn't listen to you and she chose her story not because she hurt you, she doesn't care about how you felt for years. It's normal to not feel anything because she cut you for over a year. 
and you should ask her for what exactly she is sorry for, is it because she didn't believe you or because of the pain that she caused to you, because people often put their selfish asses in these situations and yet put that thing called because I didn't believed you over because I hurt you so much by not believing you and these two sentences are kinda similar but their meaning are completely different. I saw my own mother there on the floor crying. I didn't feel anything. I wasn't sad, I wasn't angry, I wasn't happy and I certainly didn't show any sort of empathy for her. Because she wasn't a mom when she betrayed you. Imagine disowning your son for accusations of cheating. Even if Op did cheat, is it wrong with her? Some people make disowning seem so easy. She wants to be forgiven because she's feeling guilty, and that's not a nice feeling. She's not acting like she did anything wrong for cutting you off, she was lied. To by that evil bitch who lied to her. She only regrets that she was wrong. Your ex betrayed you, but I think your mom betrayed you worse, because she's known you your whole life but didn't even bother to try to find out what happened. She thinks it's okay to abandon a child for being accused of infidelity. She wants you to make her feel better by forgiving her. She's gotta make this right but really doesn't think she was wrong, just mistaken. I suspect your mom is emotionally immature in other ways, and that could have hurt you more than you realize growing up. Therapy can definitely help, but remember you need to find the right therapist for you, and it may take a couple tries. I'm so sorry your mom treated you like this. You deserved so much better. Your mom is not a good person. Not only was she willing to throw away her relationship with you, but she also ensured that your relationship with your grandparents was utterly destroyed. What a psycho. Tell her you will only consider a relationship once she's done everything to repair your relationship with your grandparents. For starters, a written apology from them would be a good start. Something tells me that is easier said than done. She showed you for a year how she felt about you. I wouldn't be so quick to jump back into this. A whole ducking year dude. Just remember that. So if the ex had never confessed, the mother was willing to go to her grave without ever acknowledging her son? That's really, really messed up. We hope that by sharing these stories with interested folks like you, we can help people recognize the signs of a relationship in trouble, and avoid so many of these heartbreaking situations yourselves. Have a good day or night. Wherever you are, 